Okay, to talk more about the State Department's reaction to the journalists' arrests, I'm now joined by Charlie McGrath, founder of Wide Awake News. Charlie, the U.S. State Department is saying that these two detained journalists are terrorists, but why are they being so vague when it comes to the actual evidence that they've got? Because I don't think the, the State Department or, or our government gives a, a, a fly-in, uh, you know what, about the evidence they want to uh, they want to shut down any real journalism journalism uh, inside Ukraine, just like they want to shut it down inside uh, this country. So I don't think they care what the evidence is. They're going to regurgitate, you, don't you know, whatever. In, in, in my opinion, whatever the CIA wrote for the to give to the Kiev government to report uh, in the detention of these journalists. You know, back in Europe, Charlie, the OSCE also called on Kiev to release the journalists. Do you think the interim government will listen to those international calls we're hearing? Uh, no, I don't think they'll li listen to anybody. They, they don't want the reporting of the truth of what's going on with the, the so-called interim government. No, I don't think they're going to listen uh, uh, one second to what the international community or anybody else has to say. Uh, they're going to serve their own, own interest, which is uh, to not let the truth of the situation on the ground get out. Now, Washington says the release of Ukrainian journalists held by anti-government activists is a bigger concern for them. We heard it just a moment ago. Why is the fate of one group of journalists then more important than the other to the U.S., do you think? Because one's a mouthpiece for the West. One's a mouthpiece uh, for, the, uh, for propagating the agenda, which is this Western-backed government in Kiev, and one is not. So, uh, obviously, the... the uh, the line from our government is going to be we're going to support so-called uh, authentic journalists, uh, the ones that tow the party line, and we're going to let hang out to dry anybody else, or we'll label them as not journalists and, in fact, we'll label them to be terrorists. And this, this shouldn't be a surprise. I mean, our own government is trying to, to, to define what a journalist really is. We had Dick Durbin back in 2013, Senator Dick Durbin, uh, come out and say what is and what isn't going to be uh, considered to be a legitimate journalist. So if you want to be a citizen, a citizen a journalist in this country, or if you want to uh, contribute to networks such as RT, myself would not be considered a journalist in the eyes of Dick Durbin, uh, because, you know, in effect, it doesn't uh, portray the party line or the uh, status quo in a positive way. So our government is very much afraid of individuals uh, standing up and reporting the truth, and they're certainly afraid of outside uh, media outlets such as Russia Today. Now, RT contributor Graham Phillips was detained Tuesday morning. How do you think the UK government will react now that a British national is being held in a foreign country? I, I don't know. I would hope that they would, uh, they would go to bat for one of their uh, own citizens. Uh, but uh, again, we see, you know, the UK, the US government tied at the hip when it comes to promoting uh, the agenda in Ukraine, which is uh, destabilize and prop up this Kiev neo-Nazi government. So, I, you know, Phillips, being as he's a reporter for RT, um, I, I think that he uh, unfortunately is on his own when it comes to wanting uh, the help of his government or expecting the help of his government. Yeah. Charlie McGrath, founder of Wide Awake News, we do thank you for your time. Thanks, Eunice.